So many beautiful stories in all of the Bible, New Testament, all of it. And uh, one in particular is the story where the woman came with the alabaster box of perfume and poured it all over Jesus' feet. And uh, those around him just didn't understand and they were, they were ticked and confused and, and fumed in their feelings and all that kind of stuff. But today, let's take the spotlight off of her. Let's even take the spotlight off of Jesus. And let's ask this question that I've never asked before until today. Where did this happen? Matthew chapter 26 records it like this in verse 6. It says, Meanwhile, Jesus was in Bethany at the home of Simon, a man who previously had leprosy, where Jesus was eating. A woman came in with a beautiful alabaster jar of expensive perfume and poured it over Jesus' head. Where was he? Simon, a man who previously had leprosy. Let's break this down. Leprosy means you're going to die for sure. Not for Simon. Leprosy means you need to separate yourself from people and will never be by people again. Not with Simon. Simon had everybody over. Leprosy means that you have a second chance of life if Jesus heals you and then you can choose how to live. He had Jesus there to eat. He could have blamed Jesus for all the years he had lost, but no. He had Jesus there to eat and not only Jesus, but anyone who wanted to come. Anyone who wanted to come and do anything, Simon had a new lease on life. And because of that, this happened at his house. The way you choose to live, who gets to be at your house? Who gets to be in your circle? Who gets to be around you? And based upon that, what miraculous things could happen at your house based upon the way you choose to live your life and you choose to run your house? This happened at Simon's place. I think that's awesome.